This is a hot point liberator dryer E tumble dryer from October 1978. The machine holds a six pound capacity and is single direction only. The controls are fairly basic, two heat settings and a two hour timer with a 15 minute cooldown period. On the top of the dryer we have a sticker, this is not the original sticker but this is what the original sticker would have looked like when the machine was new. We also have the user's handbook and the service information book. So in September 1978, the model 1730, this model was introduced. In January 1979, model 1731 was introduced with rear venting. The handbook covers the model 1721 and 1730. Model 1721 was rear venting, unlike the 1730, which was front venting through the louvers. And as you can see, there are very slight cosmetic differences. So I now think it's time we use the dryer. We're going to dry a load which I've just washed and filmed in the service quartz. Um, so I'll move this camera and get loading up. I should add that that is not original. I've taken the original door peg off. It's become, well, loose with wear, and you'd find that the door would nudge ever so slightly and the points wouldn't make contact to make the dryer run. Uh, so I've taken that out and put a permanent, well, temporary permanent pin in there uh, to activate it instead of the pin on the door. There goes a wet lot. On the back of the door, we have a door seal which was deleted in later versions and the two-piece fluff filter which needs cleaning that's embarrassing isn't it oh well there you are so we're going to set the heat to full heat and we're having 45 minutes to dry time With the additional peg in, instead of the original door peg, you could run it with the door open. And that's why I don't. Do you get the picture? You can adjust the louvers to vent up towards a window or so if need be. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. You get the general idea of it. That's that. Thanks for being. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.